Hello and welcome. This is Angie with TheCountryChicCottage.net. So today we're going to talk about fonts. We're going to talk about how to get your own fonts into Cricut Design Space. So maybe you found a font online that's free to use and now you want to use it with your Cricut machine. How do you get it from that website into Cricut Design Space? So we're going to cover this two ways. So I'm going to cover it for computers first. It's very similar for both a Windows computer as well as a MacBook. So I'm going to cover on my Windows computer a bit, kind of talk about the differences. Then second, we're going to cover it on mobile devices. So I'm going to use my iPad to do that. But again, it's very, very similar. I use the same app for iPad and Android. So it's basically the same procedure. So let's take a look at both ways. So first, let's talk about adding fonts to your computer. Now, this process is basically the same whether you're on a Windows computer or a MacBook. So you'll need to download the free font to your computer. Mine's in my downloads folder. And then they usually download as a zip. So you'll need to unzip that and you usually do that by just double clicking on it. And then you might have different types of fonts. So this one is only a true type font. If you have a true type and an open type, it's best to install the open type font instead of just the true type font. The open type font allows you to get those extra glyphs and extra characters. This one only has a true type, so I'll just double click it. And on Windows, you'll have this install button. You'll have something similar on a MacBook, so it will say something about installing. And we're just going to install that font. Once it's installed, we can close this, close this. I do find that a lot of times I have to go completely out of Cricut Design Space, so close it out and open it back up for my new font to appear. But then you should be able to go to your fonts and find it, or I can actually just search for the name of it. And now my new free font is installed, and I can cut it with Cricut Design Space. So now I'm on my iPad and I'm on a website that offers free fonts. So I'm gonna find a font that I want to download and I'm gonna click the download button. And you will note that this one is free to use. I will be going through my free fonts, my favorite free font sites in another video. You may have to approve the download and once it's downloaded, it should appear in your downloads folder somewhere like that on your device as a zip file. So once you unzip that, you will be able to see the actual files but what you really need is another app. The app is called iFont. It's available for iOS as well as Android. And what you do is you click to find the fonts. And here I downloaded it to a file. So I click the open files and I click the font that I just downloaded. And it actually finds them for me and I can click install. And now I click the one that I want to install on my device. And it actually kind of walks me through it. So I need to click all the allow buttons to allow the profile. And then for iOS, I go to the profile downloaded in my settings, enter my passcode, and allow the app to actually put the font on my device. Now you will get all kinds of warnings, but you do need to approve those. Now once that profile is installed, that font is actually on your device. So now you can head to Cricut Design Space. You can open up a new project. You can open up a text box and you can insert that font. So really it's just as easily as downloading that app, that iFont app, and letting it kind of walk you through how to install those fonts on your device. And then once the fonts are on there, you can use them right in Cricut Design Space to create all kinds of projects and more. So that's super easy. Now you can start finding those fonts and using them with your Cricut. Now I have another video coming up. It's gonna be all about free fonts, my favorite sources for free fonts, my favorite fonts to use. So you definitely don't wanna miss that one. So be sure to head on over to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, and that way you don't miss any of those videos. If you liked this video and it helped you, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, please drop those in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer those. So thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week with another great Cricut video. Thanks y'all. Bye-bye.